for Manchester City tomorrow night to take it on. So far on this match day, no goals at Leicester where Brighton played and could have won it. Maupe had a penalty saved mm. by Cash for Michael. Spurs beat West Ham 2-0, Harry Kane amongst the scorers. Tonight, Wolves beat Bournemouth by a goal to nil. Three for Martial saw Manchester United beat Sheffield United. Newcastle won a piece with Villa. That might yet be a huge point for Aston Villa. Everton were winners at Norwich, who I think we all agree have gone. And Liverpool tonight really have, you would have thought, finally wrapped it up. Norwich, Villa, Bournemouth, West Ham, the bottom four. Three of them tied on 27 points, and it's only goal difference that separates them. Uh, Watford, a point better off. Brighton will be thinking two wins. Saints, yeah. Newcastle, yeah. Burnley, Arsenal. Everton Palace, Sheffield United, Spurs, top six, Wolves and Manchester United both on 49, Chelsea on 51, so the race for fourth is on. Uh, Leicester City might be thinking, need to be careful on 55, mm. Manchester City 63 and Liverpool 80. <laughs> I mean, you really? laugh as I say it, yeah. 86. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow night, Saints play Arsenal, it's Burnley Watford, those two start at the same time, we've got them all covered of course, and uh, our second feature tomorrow night here on HD11, Chelsea Manchester City, 4K available as well. Yeah, I think so, I think so, for the first time in, in probably a few years, still some fabulous players on both sides, mm. it has to be said. But there's one or two that we haven't really heard of that, will, that over the next couple of years, I think, that are coming through from both teams. Sarri clinging to his job by a mm -hmm. thread in Italy at Juventus. Mm. Is, is, is uh, Cristiano giving him his backing? Because <laughs> <laughs> as long as he gets that, he should be OK. If he hasn't, I'm sure he will. <laughs> yeah. There's never going to be a problem there, was there, no. between those two? No. So 4-0 tonight. I, I, we're just waiting, aren't we, for the inevitable? Yes. It's a confirmation, really. Yeah, it's just when. Yeah, and, and you know, Liverpool won't mind if it's tomorrow and, and Manchester City don't manage to beat uh, Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. But I get a funny feeling, having played myself and, and won the title on the pitch, actually we won the game and that was it. I think they'd, they'd like to. Agreed. I think they'd like to do it against City. That's their next game. And it would be even special to do it against the, the current champions. It's not a free kick, but I think it was a free kick. But the, watch the quality of the four goals we're going to see. A little nudge from Jordan Ayew. It's not enough to put the big man over if he didn't want to go over. <laughs> it's not. But the quality of the four goals you're about to see, if you haven't seen them, is, is, is fantastic. It's a high, high level. Uh, that's a stunning free kick from Alexander-Arnold. Stunning. And I don't care whether where he lined it up. Two walls up there, it still wasn't going to stop that. That was quality. Mo Salah just before half time yeah. put it to bed, really. Uh, the rest was just I think no one did. Enjoyable. I, was, I mean, there was nothing from Palace today that suggested they were going to threaten Liverpool at all. This one, the quality of the run, the quality of the pass, absolutely top class. Um, I wasn't sure if Fabinho had this in his locker, but he obviously has. The way he just dinks that over there, that little golf shot almost. And the rest was a formality for, for Mo Salah. Once it clears Van Aanholk, it's for him, it's simple just to chest it down and mm. tuck it away. It's easy, comfortable. And proving that he also has the power to go with that lovely little Absolutely. moment of well, uh, class. The strike. There. Yeah. Well, it took everyone by surprise. I, I, I wasn't expecting it. Yes, he has hit one like this earlier in the season. But, I mean, he gets a little bit of time. And do you know what it is? If you were going out to press him, do you know what you'd be shouting? Shoot. Yeah, you would. Yeah. You would be telling him to shoot. You'd be shouting, hit it, shoot. Well, he took the advice and he hit, he hit it all right. There's no doubt about that. Wonderful strike. Pure as you like. Again, not much spin in that ball when it leaves his foot. It's just a wonderfully clean strike. You see it? Just a little bit, not much. And then a rarity. Salah Mane. You don't see that often? No, you don't. You don't. I mean, this is just a Lundell counter-attack. Just a couple of passes, that one and that one. Just brilliant. Absolutely stunning. Did you ever doubt it? You never doubt it. I didn't it. doubt it, but I think Mo Salah was disappointed. He was going for the return, wasn't Why, he? Why, he's never getting that. Keep your eyes on him. He's but... never getting that. No, I know. It's a super one-touch pass. It really is. Because if he takes a touch on it, Mane's offside. So he can't take two touches. He has to play it first time. <laughs> that gives him a chance. 
I mean, Gary Cahill would normally throw himself at that and try and block it, but it was a token gesture for Gary. I think the whole Palace side knew that that game had gone a long time ago. Mm. So just to remind you once again, it now means that Manchester City have, have to win at Chelsea. If they yes. don't, then it's done. And as pleasing as that will be for Liverpool and their supporters after 30 years, which is extraordinary it is. when those of us who came up during the era yeah. of their dominance mm. Um, I've discussed this. It, it, it's, it's incredible to think it's been that long. Uh, but, but City have to win tomorrow night to keep it going. If they do, then it means Liverpool can win it when they go to Manchester City next time out. I think they'd like to do that. But listen, Chelsea have started this after lockdown. They've started well. I like what they've done, Frank. He's got a, he's got a really top group of players there. Um, one of his strongest benches, I think, in Premier League football right now. Chips. All the games, all the time, all in one place. Three more tomorrow night, and that our second feature here on HD11. Arabic coverage available on HD1 and 2, and 4K available as well. Here's the scorer of Liverpool's first goal tonight. Trent, just how impressive and how slick was that performance from Liverpool tonight? Massive, I think. The lads have done really well, I think. Um, it's been a difficult game for us, obviously quite disappointing to only get the draw on Sunday on our first game back, but first game back at Anfield after what's gone on um, couldn't have went any better for us to be honest, so we made up with the win. Your free kick, <laughs> could you hit it any better at all? <laughs> um, I don't think so, obviously I've been practising a lot and I've had a few, I had a few against Everton, which I was probably a little bit disappointed not to, not to score, but obviously got the chance today and, and was able to put it away, so it was always good to get the, the ball rolling for the lads and um, yeah, we, we kicked on from then. Jamie Carragher described it as Beckham-esque. <laughs> How big a compliment is that? Obviously massive, I think. He's probably one of the, the, the best in history, probably um, the best free kick taker in Premier League history from, from what I can think of right now. But, yeah, obviously the comparisons are, are really nice, but there's still a lot of work to do to, to get to his level. Tonight as well, you took another huge step towards the title. Does it feel tantalisingly <laughs> close? Uh, well, it's two points, so I'd say, yeah, it's quite close. But obviously we know a lot can happen in the Premier League. We're close. We've waited a long time for this and we've worked hard for this um, over the last few years as a team and as a squad. And obviously, as a club, this is, this is what we've always dreamed of. So we're in a good position. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to get across the line very soon. You've pushed them all the way. City now simply cannot afford to drop points against Chelsea. Pep Guardiola today talking about potentially resting players, thinking about the FA Cup. Would you encourage him in that direction? <laughs> um, it's up to him, really. He's the manager. We've got to focus on ourselves and obviously not take things for granted. And not For us, we're not really hoping that Man City lose points or drop points. For us, we're focused on, our, on ourselves. and. We know it's in our hands, so whatever that outcome tomorrow, we've still got to go to City um, next week and, and try and get a result. And obviously, we've still got a lot of games left in the season, so maybe we've got to keep pushing ourselves and hopefully we'll be able to set a few records along the way. Just going back to your free kick, what's the hierarchy? Because there seems to be a few volunteers want to take the free <laughs> kick, and having scored a pearler like that, does that now put you at the top of the list? Um, there's a lot of lads with a lot of quality in the squad. Um, I know Hendo wants a few. Fab obviously jumped on after after my goal. Um, obviously Mo was a left footer. He's probably uh, the left footed one. But for us, it's good to have that quality in the team and to be pushing each other every day in training. And I think um, when we're practicing them, I've, I've got a lot of competition and that. So for me, it's about keep trying to push myself, trying to get as good as, good as possible and um, seeing them as an opportunity to, to score like today. And, hopefully be able to get a few more goals. Well, it was a brilliant goal. Well done. Well played tonight, Trent. Thank you. Cheers. Two things briefly, Andy. We, we, we remember the great free kicks, and we mm -hmm. will that one tonight. Mm -hmm. But the great free kick takers actually didn't have that much success, no, they did they? If, if you look at uh, uh, people who are renowned for taking free kicks, Beckham, Ronaldo, Messi, you would be amazed at the percentage. Roberto Carlos? Roberto Carlos. He might, his might be up high. You'd be amazed at the percentage, how low it is. By that, let's say they, took, they all took 100 free kicks, right, from that kind of range. I bet they've scored 17 goals, 15. Mm, I think you're being generous. I, 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 no, I don't think it would be that high. But that's what it is. I mean, Trent must have taken three or four against Everton. Mm. We don't remember them. He alluded to it there. They took three or four against Everton, hit the, hit the stand three times, hit the wall once. So those are, those are four that have gone, and he scored one tonight. And we'll are the days that. over when the Premier League would be interested in teams that were selected by coaches because they might not be the full-strength 11. Have those days gone? Yes.